What if I told you that you cannot fail? What if I told you that you cannot lose? Failure is not an option. Losing isn't even in the playbook. And no matter what you do, no matter what you put your hand to, you're going to be successful. What if I told you that the only person who can stop you from accomplishing what God called you to do is you? So God doesn't want you to live an ordinary life. God doesn't want you to have a mundane existence. He freed you for a reason. God wants you to live sold out. He wants you to chase the dreams and the passions that he put within your heart. If God called you to be an athlete, then be the best athlete this world has ever seen. Live sold out. Do it with excellence for God's glory. And know that if he called you to do something, you cannot fail. You will accomplish it because he called you to do it. He gave you that passion and those desires for a reason. I met this guy one time, right? He lived in my town. And every time I saw him, every time I drove by him, he was doing the same thing. He was running. He was doing push-ups. He was doing pull-ups. He was doing sit-ups. He was running miles at a time on the side of the road, only to be found later on on the local courts playing basketball until nightfall. Mastering his craft. So one time I approached him, I said, man, what are you doing all this for? What's the point? He said to me, you must be crazy. Here I was thinking he was the crazy one, and he's calling me crazy. I said, what do you mean? He said, you take this as me wasting my time? Man, I have been given an opportunity. I have been given life, and life abundantly. I want to live a life that's sold out. You see, God has a plan for everyone's life, and his plan for my life is that I be an athlete, and that everything I do while I'm an athlete brings glory to the God who gave me the talents and the game. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to squander the things that God's given me. I want to live sold out. I want to run, 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 and I want to accomplish what he set before me for his glory. Not mine, not my own strength, but by his glory and his glory alone. I said, really? That's a pretty big goal to make a living as an athlete. He said, yeah, you're probably right. But when God calls you to do something, no man can stop you from doing it. It's God's will for my life. He made it clear to me. Therefore, I cannot fail. I'm a flower petal. I said, you're a flower petal? What does that mean? He said, 2 Corinthians, I'm a flower petal. I said, what do you mean? He said, 2 Corinthians 2.14, But thanks be to God who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession, and through us spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of him everywhere. He said, I'm a flower petal, man. I cannot lose. I am here to bring glory to the general. I said, you lost me. He said, man, that verse is talking about the old days when the Roman legions would march into the city after conquering an enemy in war. And they would lay flower petals all over the roads. And as the horses would march, they would crush these flower petals and release a fragrance into the air that would bring pleasure to the general knowing that his men were victorious. He said, man, I got to live my life as a flower petal, bringing glory to my general, Jesus Christ. And what did God call me to do? He called me to be an athlete. So I can't sleep. I can't rest, I can't squander my time, my talents, or my abilities, because I have one shot at this life, and I'm going to live sold out, accomplishing the goal that God put before me for His glory, and His glory alone. I cannot rest. I will rest in the next life, but not here. I said, man, how would a guy like me go about knowing God's will for my life? He said, easy, you got to know God. I said, how so? Through his son, he said, Jesus Christ. You have to know his son and not only know his son, but give his son your life, your time, your energy. Lay it all down. And believe in him. And he will show you his call for your life. He said, man, there's only one way to experience peace, satisfaction, joy, fulfillment, and all those things in this life. And that is by being in the center of God's will. That man left that day having opened my eyes. And although I don't know much, I know that he was right. And I know that if God called you to be a teacher, be the best teacher this world has ever seen. If God called you to be an athlete, let no other athlete stand on your level. If God called you to build structures, then build structures for the glory of God. If God calls you to be a musician, then rock this world with the best music they've ever heard for the glory of the God who gave you the talent in the first place. Sleep? Who has time? You can sleep in the next life. Rest? You have one shot at this life. This world is going to tell you that what you set out to do is impossible. This world is going to point at your past mistakes, and they're going to say, it doesn't matter what God calls you to do, you cannot do it. The world is going to say that you can't, but God says that you can. And when the world says that you're not worth it, they're saying the cross was a mistake. You can do absolutely anything that 
God has called you to do because he will empower you. He will equip you. So when he puts those things on your heart and he says, go and do them, go and do them. You have one shot at this life. Don't waste your life. I just want to say that something real quick that these videos they're not so much as trying to just say oh hey you know I've lost a bunch of weight look at me I'm trying to be arrogant or cocky because I'm I am nowhere near what the perfect body is and I mean nobody's ever gonna have the perfect body but we can go for it we can chase it it's just I don't want people to watch these videos and then think okay she's just trying to show off and all this kind of stuff like that that's it's not it I promise I, I'm making these because they help motivate me and they help keep me going and keep me strong for these past couple workouts I've been having problems like mentally pushing through and my trainer would go grab the camera and I'd be like okay you know I gotta push gotta push and they just they help me push through the hard workouts and that's what it's about I don't want people to look at it and think okay she's being you know arrogant or cocky because I'm nowhere near what I want to look like like it's it's about finding confidence though finding confidence in yourself and the way you look now and knowing that hey it may not be what you want to look like but you can push and you can work to get better and that's really what it's about so I just want to say thank you for watching so far there's going to be many 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 more videos to come so I hope y'all enjoy and God bless